Now, you would think with all the dark clouds around, we have a little bit of rain out there. Well, you thought right. It is raining in a couple of spots in East Idaho, one in particular uh, over the Continental Divide, Idaho-Montana border, uh, just to the east of Menina Pass. We've had some showers develop around the Grays Lake area over southeastern Bonneville County. Looks like some rain popping up on the northern end of the Craters of the Moon National Monument. So these showers will continue to work in from the northwest. There is a chance this evening, Blackfoot, yeah, you could see some rain along with Rigby and Rexburg. I think Idaho Falls and Pocatello mainly just clouds this evening and then we'll clear out later tonight. Now that clearing out will be prompted by high pressure and high pressure building in way to the southwest of us. And that means tomorrow it will take most of this moisture and shove it to our north. But there may still be enough lingered honked up along the mountain ranges to see some showers tomorrow afternoon. So FY on that, maybe not entirely dry over the area, but I think for the Snake River Plain, at least tomorrow it should be widespread dry weather. Yeah, and then that sets the stage for uh, some warmer temperatures out there as well. And speaking of warmer, it will be warmer tonight than it was last night. Now Pocatello, we had a low temperature of 36 last night. Tonight, 44. So don't have to worry about any frost at all. There is that chance, so as I mentioned just a moment ago, of some evening rain showers. I kind of don't hold your breath, but a chance nonetheless. 40 will be the low in St. Anthony. Not bad there. Rexburg, 42. And then for the Central Mountains, we have a few showers roaming about right now. And over the, the highest peaks, it's snow. Yeah, definitely cold enough for that. Well, the isolated showers will continue this evening. Low temperatures just barely staying above freezing in Stanley at 33. 10 degrees warmer up in Salmon. You're at 43. Back to 10 degrees cooler than that. Jackson will have a low of 33 with isolated rain showers this evening for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. And the same thing for the southeast corner. So not entirely dry tonight. A couple of spots will get wet, so just be forewarned. But by late tonight, we'll all clear out. And that clearing out will help temperatures to kind of drop off a little bit, but still staying above where they were last night. Southeast corner tomorrow, there is a chance of rain for some. Who's the some? Montpelier and Soda Springs. You may get some rain showers, especially later in the day. For the rest of us, hey, we're warmer. We're up in the 70s. Chance of rain for the upper highlands of western Wyoming. Despite that, high temperatures will be warmer than they were this afternoon. Just a partly sunny day for the central mountains. And look at those 70s. Mid-70s in Chalice and Salmon. We'll be in the mid-70s in Pocatello and Otto Falls. So we jump up again. It's a drying and warming trend, and it continues. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealers seven day forecast certainly shows that. We're in the 80s on Thursday. Look at Friday. Woohoo, that's a warming trend. We're up to 90, but not there long. Weekend rolls in, and well, we got a couple of dry cold fronts move through, producing more wind and clouds than anything. Certainly some cooler temperatures, but not nearly the drop we had in temperatures this last weekend. This cold front much weaker. Now it'll fall seven day forecast. Warmest day will be Friday up to 88. We back off this weekend, but it looks like it's still going to stay dry and we're going to have a bunch of wind as if, yeah, we're not tired of the wind already. Teton area seven day forecast. We're warmer as we get into Thursday and Friday 81 and then temperatures slide down. We may see some showers over the weekend and for the central mountains. We got just a dry day tomorrow and even sunnier and drier as we go into Friday as temperatures peak out at 87. Could see some showers and thunderstorms those this weekend as we turn a little bit cooler out there.